Hey guys, in this video, we are going to talk about what are the variables in Python. So, these are the topics we are going to cover in this video. So, let's talk about what is actually a variable in Python. Simply think it as a container to store your data or values when you are programming. So, let's say we have a couple of books here and you have a box here. You can think these books as your values and this box as your container. So you put these books into the box. So now this is called as a variable. So it's a container which, which stores some values. So this is our next topic. Now let's see how to define a variable. So in Python, you can define a variable in this format. Where in your left hand side you have the variable name and this equal sign is called as assignment operator and on your left right hand side you have your values like in here you can think these books as your values and this box as your variable so what does this equal sign does is it put these books into the box so here are some examples of uh, defining variables. This is total underscore books equals 105. So this total books is your variable name and the 105 is your values. And this is your assignment operator. Now let's talk about what is the assignment operator. So what it does is it assign a value to a variable. Now let's say you have a variable called speed and you have a value of 105. So what does this equal sign does is it take this 105 and put into this speed variable. So this assignment operator takes the value from right hand side and, and put it into the left hand side variable. So here you have 105 equals speed in here. So let's say this is your value and this is your variable. So this assignment operator doesn't work in this way. So the assignment operator doesn't take the left hand side value and put this in the right hand side. And it doesn't work in this way. So just simply think, say you have books as your values and you have your box as your container. So you can put these books into the box. But in here, you can't put this box in, into the box. What you have to remember is Assignment operator always work from right hand side to left hand side. It doesn't work in other way. So here is an example for assignment operator. Let's say you have two variables called a equals 10 and b equals 50. So here we let's say we have a equals b. But this assignment operator does is it takes the value of b and it assign it to the a. So the value of b is assigned to the a. Now the value of a is changed to 50. And the value of b remains unchanged because it didn't change in here the value of a is assigned to the b so the value of b changed to the value of a which is 10 and the value of a remains unchanged because the value of a didn't change so our next topic is variable name rules in python so first rule is variable names are case sensitive so the lowercase m equals 10 and the uppercase m equals 10 are not equal they are two different variables and the next rule is there are acceptable characters you can use in order to define a variable so we have letters from lowercase a to z and uppercase a to z and digits from 0 to 9 and the underscore sign these are the only characters you can use in order to define a variable so the next rule you can't start a variable with a digit you can use the way in between a variable name or at the end of a variable name but you can't start a variable name with a digit so the next rule is you can't do python keywords as your variable names see what are the python keywords in next slide and the variable names are unlimited in length and if you want to use space in your variable names you have to use either underscore or you can just forget the space and use it as a single word like you can say either total underscore marks or you can use total marks these are okay but but you can't use total space marks because it's an error now let's do some size on variable naming so we have a equals 50 
it's an acceptable variable and you can use numbers at the end of a variable name so it's also okay you can use uh, numbers in between variable names this is also okay and you can use words as values so this is also okay you can start a variable name with underscore so this is also okay and if you want to use space you can use underscore so this is also okay but in here you can't start a variable name with number so this is an error and you can't use python keywords as your variable name so diff is a python keyword so this is an error you can't use this kind of character in variable names so this is an error and you can't use spaces in variable names so this is an also error now these are the keywords in python the python keywords are group of words that reserved in python use special tasks so as you can see here this diff is a keyword so you can't use this as a variable name so now let's <clears throat> do some real world example let's say you have to write a program in order to find the volume of a cylinder so as we know this is how to find the volume of a cylinder we have the constant pi in the radius of the cylinder and the height of the cylinder so you can define the variables in order to store the values of these parameters you can say radius equals 12 so what it does is the value of 12 is assigned to the, the variable radius and also same as height and the uh, constant pi so you can create another variable for volume and it equals the formula of the volume of a cylinder and then you can print the volume now let's jump into the vgs code and see how this works so now we are in vgs code we have the variables here and the volume so now you can just run this code and you can see the volume of the cylinder is here so our last topic these are some common errors with variables so the name error occurs when you are trying to use a variable which is not defined yet then the syntax that occurs and there's a typo in your variable name so some mis misspelling or something the type error occurs when you are trying to manipulate incompatible data type let's talk about what are the data type in the future video thank you